cooking with Duke Adventures, the avocado. The avocado will make you climb harder, but if you don't serve it correctly, you'll dirty up extra dishes or you might ruin your bread. So I'm going to show you a pro tip. Cut your avocado in half, as you normally would, and then mash up your avocado before you take it out of the shell. And then you can squeeze the avocado out onto the bread without dirtying up any dishes or ruining your bread. That's it. Then just add spam and you're good to go. Welcome to a Took Adventure Tuesday. It's summer. I'm back in Vail. There's not much snow back there. And uh, I've got a dilemma. Never had a problem that I could solve. It must be official if I get involved. I love making videos. My goal recently has been to make videos that are simple, easy to follow, you can watch the whole thing, because all of us, myself included, when we're on social media, when we're on Instagram, we all have the attention span of a goldfish. I feel like I've gotten a little bit better at this, and I'm kind of proud of how far I've come, but I still feel like a lot of my videos are pretty pointless. I mean, I can make videos all day about spam, and I would think it was funny, and I would love it, but that's a little selfish. I don't think my mama's gonna save me. So I thought pretty hard about what I wanted to do for these videos in the summer. I thought about quitting. I thought about just not making any videos. I thought about making B-roll, making videos without really me talking, just kind of videos of the camera work. And then I thought about the videos I made over the winter and the videos that I'm most proud of, that I really enjoyed, were uh, these tutorials. Yeah! I made a few tutorials teaching snowboarding techniques and it seemed, it felt like I was making something beneficial for someone else other than just myself, maybe my students. It felt like maybe if someone was to watch it, maybe they could get something out of it. And then I thought about how I could relate that to the summer and usually I make videos about climbing, how I could make that more about climbing, make tutorials about climbing. I think learning climbing techniques, rappelling techniques, belay techniques on YouTube is an awful idea that's just dumb. I don't recommend it and that's not what I want to do. And then I thought about my climbing and the things that I see while I work in a gym and I see other intermediate climbers struggle. Maybe I could share my progression and how I'm trying to get out of this plateau that I'm at climbing and maybe people can benefit from that. There's a deer right there. <laughs> Now the big difference between teaching snowboarding, teaching climbing techniques on YouTube is that the snowboarding, I taught a lot of intermediate and a lot of advanced lessons, so I kind of had my own way of presenting these progressions and I had a lot of practice doing it. Climbing on the other hand, I teach a lot of beginner climbers, a little bit of intermediate, but I consider myself just leaving that intermediate realm of climbing. So all of the techniques, all of the, the training that I'm gonna be presenting, I'm gonna cite where I got it from, websites, uh, podcasts. That way, if you're training and you're watching this and you're kind of seeing maybe how it's affecting me, you can also get it straight from the source and maybe apply it to your own training. Maybe a little different than the way that I'm doing it. When I headed to the top, where we going? Two miles an hour, can you picture me rolling? Cause life is so much better when you live in slow motion. So yeah, I'm stoked to make this. I'm stoked to uh, present you guys to what's happening with my climbing. I also want to present my buddies from Greece. They're about in the same area, so they're going to be another kind of test bunny. Maybe I can put them in some of these videos. Ha, surprise. So, <laughs> that was stupid, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> um, that's what I think I'm going to do this summer. I'm not a big fan of making videos about myself. I think that's very narcissistic, but, I don't have any better ideas. Uh, I hope people get something out of this. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's fun to watch. And I'm stoked. Next week, I'm gonna present my goal for the summer, what I wanna do with my climbing, and a little bit of how I'm gonna get there. And then throughout the summer, all the other videos are gonna kind of present other training techniques, how I'm getting there, what I'm doing, if I'm consistent with it, if I'm sticking to it, and if I'm actually gonna get to my goal. So, see you next Tuesday.